pounds are in 25,000 grams, right? Okay, so 25,000 grams. So we've got 25,000 grams, right? So the unit analysis way is to go put that over one, right? And then we're going to convert this to pounds. But we have a way to get from grams to kilograms, and then we have a way to get from kilograms to pounds. So we're just going to do one step at a time. And the unit analysis trick is I want the grams to cross cancel. So I need a gram down here, right? So I, what I do is I construct this unit fraction, 1,000 grams, is equal to one kilogram. So I multiply it by one kilogram over 1,000 grams, and these grams cross cancel. And now my units will be in kilograms. Now that's the first step. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Right. Um, but I've got to get from kilograms to pounds. So now I actually want the kilograms to cross cancel. So I need another unit fraction with kilograms on the bottom and pounds on the top, right? And we have one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. And these kilograms are gonna cross cancel. Now, does that whole thing make sense? Yes. Right? So that's the unit analysis trick of doing it. And, and like we can now mess with the numbers because look, a thousand into thousand goes once, and a thousand into that goes twenty-five times. Or you could have just crossed off the three zeros and had twenty-five here and one here. It would have been the same thing. Um, so we end up with twenty. On the top, we've got twenty-five times one, times two point two pounds, and on the bottom we have one. We have one. <laughs> so. It's 25 times 2.2. .2. I'm going to do that without a calculator. 2.2, 25. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10, carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10, 1 is 11. Put down a 0, multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And I get 5, 5, 0. But I had one decimal point in the multiplication, so I need 1 in the answer, 55. 0 0.0 or 55. So when I go 25 times 2.2, I get 55, and it's 55 pounds, right? Um, so that's the unit analysis way of doing it. Is that all working out, or does that make sense? Yeah. Um, the, there's another way. I mean, like, we could go, okay, so 25,000 grams. Let's see, there's... A thousand grams in a kilogram, so that's 25 kg. And that's what we kind of got after the first step, 25 kilograms. And then we go, okay, so one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So um, 25 kilograms times that by 2.2, and you'd work that out. Well, that's 55 pounds. So I mean, I really mind if you guys do it this way, but I do want you all to to, well, you do both ways if you want, but I mean, so it's good to think about it and to work it out, but it's also good to use the, use the unit analysis trick because you're going to see that in chemistry and biology and probably some other classes as well.